jokes to the side, nigga, know that they ain't fucking with the flow I provide. Y'all. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we got an unboxing from my family over at Fresh Division, so we're gonna check that thing out first. Then we're gonna get into these kicks. I feel like maybe this might be the final sign for us that we might get this retro because, hey, it's been a long awaited retro that we wanna see come back in the high. So let's go ahead, let's jump into this unboxing, y'all. Get it! So y'all, make sure, the link is in the description box. You guys can head over to the website, save you some money as well. I will put that down in the link in the description box below. Y'all already know, man, retro got the code for you guys save y'all a little bit of that bread and here it is right here as well so y'all see it right there we got the sneaker connoisseurs fresh division hoodie this thing is fuego yes lord man shout out to the home team for sending this over here if you guys want to get you one go ahead use the link in the description box go purchase one here's my discount code right here make sure y'all use that at the checkout save you some bread on this fresh division hoodie you feel me again shout out to the home team y'all now we gonna get into these kicks y'all so these shoes came out a couple weeks ago and I don't, I can't really say they just regular shoes y'all. They came in the Jordan box of course and this is a little bit of a twist but maybe we might be getting this shoe finally back in the high man. We've seen a lot of the retros come out that we've wanted to see and we've seen some that came back a little bit earlier before this retro and everybody knows what retro it is y'all. It is the Cool Gray 11 y'all. We have not seen the Cool Gray 11 since 2000 2009 man and it is just only right that we get the high again now recently they did come out with the cool gray low and I mean it was a great touch to see the low come back and we were like yo maybe they dropping the low that mean we gonna get the high but instead of seeing the high come back y'all they gave us these golf shoes now, this is the Air Jordan 11 golf medium gray white gun smoke these retail for a suggested retail sticker of $220 y'all you guys see it right there and man a couple cool things came with it you did get this cool nike golf footwear warranty one year limited waterproof warranty so these have a different type of material than they have on the regular cool grays that you see now look y'all can see that right there that it did come with this little car and it is a one year or two year warranty limit nike limited 45 day comfort warranty man it looks like they're giving you a lot of different warranties with this if you don't like the comfort you can take them back in 45 days if the water doesn't work if it's like not waterproof like it's say it is over a year or two I guess you're gonna get your money back I'm not sure about all that but when you look at this shoe it does mimic that cool gray 11 low pretty hard the only thing is I would say is that I feel like the patent leather is a little bit I don't know man maybe I'm tripping but it does look like it's a little bit darker yeah it does it looks like it's a little bit darker on the actual golf shoe than it is on this cool gray 11 low the shoelaces are definitely thicker on the actual retro instead of it being as thick and you guys can see looking at it up close right here you guys can see kind of like that thread on the 11 is uh on these right here it's a little bit different it's not it's not that same type of 11 lace that you see inside of the actual regular one as far as textures go on this shoe right here i think they did an outstanding job and maybe this is gonna be a sign that we will get the 11 high back like this next time when you look at this thing man yes they say that this is waterproof but look at the leather pleather material on this thing man that thing is nice y'all and you guys can see if it's waterproof like they say it is that's just gonna rub right off that would be pretty pretty dope man that'd be really really nice to see that shoe come out like that you guys can see it kind of even has like a little tumble to it right here on the shoe other than that it just looks like a regular 11 low y'all minus you could turn this into 
an 11 low if you wanted to because technically the bottom of it which has this crazy icy blue you do have a jordan golf tag right here nothing spectacular it looks just like the 11 low the only difference is that you have a different midsole to it and like i said these can be removed you can take these off i think that this might be a sign that maybe jordan will hear our prayer and jordan brand bring back the 11 high cool gray man but if you're gonna bring it back and you want to throw a twist to it i wouldn't mind seeing it come out with this type of material y'all this material on this shoe is crazy y'all it, it feels good man and you guys can see just pushing it in mashing it in it's a different type of material but you know maybe it's just because i want to see them come back and i wouldn't mind seeing them in a different form as far as keeping the two three and just changing out this little piece right here i think that would be dope to give it kind of that leather look man this thing is fuego i think it's a unique way of doing it if they decide to bring it back and if not jordan brand just give us the cool grace bag you don't have to do it like this but i do think that this is a dope touch to this shoe y'all let me know if anybody picked up any of these golf shoes shout out to my bro cruz and dread for letting me do this video over this shoe because i think that this is a very unique way of looking at a golf shoe i have never seen any of the jordan golfs in my hand this is the first one that i've ever held in my hand this is the first one that i ever bought to the channel y'all so let me know down below if you guys are into the jordan golf I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that purchased these and they're like yo you know I'm gonna remove this part and I'm just gonna rock it like a regular shoe like it's possible man it's possible I don't know how the comfort is this is not my shoe so I didn't try it on but it looks like it would have to be comfortable man it looks like at least it feels like it would have to be comfortable and especially because you know it's kind of a you know just like the other 11 but uh I don't know, man. It looks like it it have to be comfortable, especially for somebody playing golf. You can be out there for hours, and Lord knows, some Jordans you don't want to rock for hours, but I would think and I would assume that maybe the comfort on these is a lot better than wearing a regular 11 low or high, but comment down below, like I said, if you guys picked a pair of these up. Y'all, I got an announcement to let y'all know, so I am going to be bringing back the sneaker rotation, y'all. I was talking to some people that want to see things on the channel, and one thing that, you know, a lot of people ask me is why did I stop doing the sneaker rotation the reason why I stopped doing it honestly was just because the views that I was getting and the feedback that I was getting wasn't matching to me I'm gonna just be honest but who cares about the views you know what I'm saying if y'all want to see it I'm gonna let you guys see it and I enjoy editing those videos I put a lot of time and effort into those videos having to record every single day making sure that I hit what shoe I had because in the beginning I just used to show the shoes and just describe how I picked the shoe up what made me put the shoe on that day but I will be be bringing back the sneaker rotation so be on the lookout for that top 10 sneakers of 2019 is gonna be dropping soon stay on the lookout for that as well i love y'all and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video yeah.